Hi there, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Team and in this uh, wonderful video, we're going to show you how do you use Jamboard as a whiteboard to assess directly from Google Meet to do your remote teaching easily, alright, to write anything on it, okay, so the students can have a safe copy of it later on, alright, or you can actually allow the students to participate together with you on this whiteboard, alright, and the three top main functions that we're going to show you will be uh, how do you assess it directly from Google Meet first, and of course, um, how do you use pen, markers and highlighters to draw on the whiteboard and also to um, include or add in post-its alright like this on the whiteboard okay last but not least at the end of the video you will be shown additional bonus uh, tip on how do you allow students to be able to edit your uh, file or this whiteboard together with you so that they can ask questions on it or they can actually participate together with your lesson and enjoy your lessons gain access into the Jamboard and work together with you. So, for example, this question is being posted, all right, and you can see that immediately it appears on the screen, all right, of other students. Okay, right. So, if you like this video and you would like to be first to be notified of future videos, please click subscribe at the bottom or click subscribe here on top. All right, click the bell. Remember, so that you be first to be notified, and then we will dive right in. Now I'll show you how to assess the Jamboard uh, that Google has newly uh, added to the feature of uh, Google Meet. All right, by clicking here at these three dots here. All right, just click on it. Now you can see whiteboard, which is a Jamboard, right on top of this list. Okay, just click on it, and then uh, you can decide whether uh, to to start right, to use back your old Jamboard that we have been doing with your students or your uh, participants or you can actually start a new Jamboard and now this is what we'll demonstrate okay click the start new Jamboard right then this panel will appear a blank Jamboard all right all right on the students screen they will be able to see your presentation of the Jamboard here okay if you have uh, presented okay at the same time they can also as you can uh, allow them for editing you can they can actually assess the Jamboard through this icon here okay right the chat group icon where they will be given a link to the Jamboard itself for them to edit at the same time okay alternatively they can assess it over here okay the uh, panel here with the ar arrow up okay go to attachment and they can also assess the Jamboard directly there okay so if they click on it all right this will be the students page of the Jamboard okay the students account so now back at the teachers account host account all right so if I were to click the Jamboard all right the Jamboard what I what I can do is I can do a lot of things like for example I can draw on it okay using the pen with uh, maybe black in first okay welcome You can write the word hi okay so among this pen you can choose other things like markers okay maybe a different color I'm gonna mark on this all right I can also highlight okay, sorry highlight Okay, you'll be transparent, alright, or you can actually have a brush, alright. Cool. There at the student's account, alright, they will also see the same thing as you, and as since you have given them the access to edit, they can also add in things like, for example, Right, they can post a question, okay? Question. Okay, this is actually a paste post-it format, okay? And they can actually shift the post-it around, put it beside you, your point, and turn, okay? 
this is done at the student's account. Okay, and at the host account, the teacher's account or the host, you will also see the student's account done by the student. Okay, with their logo there. Cool. And all that has been done, all right, will also be shown in the presentation in the Google Meet. So in the case of a view only uh, uh, version, they will see this in their um, Google Meet presentation. Okay, if they are in the editing, then they can be involved with your class and inter interaction with the lesson. This is also a very good thing for um, group work where you can actually have a new breakout version of the uh, Google Meet. Okay, and then each group uh, can actually be involved with uh, coming up with their own designs of, a, of Jamboard or of a, of a classwork. Okay, where you go into different breakout rooms, which we will show you in the few, uh, other videos. The setting to allow students to gain access to your Jamboard to put together with you, right, while the lesson is going on, okay, to participate, it is the, at the beginning when you actually put it, uh, put the Jamboard up in your Google Meet. Remember at this point when you click on the three dots and then immediately click on the whiteboard. Right, the Jamboard panel will come out and we have selected uh, either the drive or to select the new Jamboard. This is what we'll demonstrate. Okay, click the start new Jamboard. Alright, if this panel appears, meaning you need to give special access for certain students. It is a panel that you will decide or set whether you allow the student to edit or just view. Okay, with this allowing the student to edit if you want them to only view what you have uh, written on the Jamboard then just view okay most of the time i'll prefer editing so the students can join in uh, to the whatever is uh, written there okay if it's a, a lecture format then view will be a good choice okay let's do edit now All right okay so send so for the student who have already had access right so what they'll do uh, on the page together with you will be appearing in other students uh, list or even in the Google class Google meet itself. So for example, if uh, the student would like to post a question Students page maybe would like to specify a certain color. All right, and uh, okay um, question Is this For all students, okay All right, so for example, this question is being posted. All right, and you can see that immediately it appears on the screen all right of other students these other students here all right and in this screen which is the teacher's screen abc useful tip you can immediately all right place your reply okay and click all right reply in yes cool and that will also appear in your student's screen so it appears in the google meet screen presentation as well and for our, all other students right so now if we have the case of another student without access or generally most students will not have access until you have given them all right so in this case like this student okay you click in the chat and he has this link all right even with this link because as a as is a link that will be given it will be created in the chat group once you click on um, the Jamboard. They may not get a sense until you have given them. So how do you give them the access to participate? And let's say we put the student's view here without the access, all right? Okay, and your the teacher's view here on the left, all right? Uh, will in the Google Jamboard, what you can do is to get grant access to students by clicking share, all right, at the top right hand corner. Okay, click in the share. All right, and then at the bottom here, the just now the other student who are given access, the name is already there, uh, allow at the beginning, okay. And then for the rest of the students, when they click on the link, you want to give them the access, you click on this change at the bottom, get the link and change the format of the link. All right, when you click on it, by default it will be viewers. All right, that means you are actually giving them only the viewing access and not participation. So what you can do is click on editor all right click on the triangle and then click on editor at the bottom and therefore the students will be 
able to access the Jamboard. So now back at this student who wasn't given access at the beginning, right? So with this new access to the link, okay, which is already in their chat group, this is the link that was created in the Google Meet initially. So once they, now they click on this link, they can immediately gain access into the Jamboard and work together with you. Now one thing to take note, if your account, your Google account is a, an education or enterprise account given by the school, your school administrator, if they choose to click or select no access for all students for Jamboard, then you may not be able to do this function to give students access. So you need to check with your administrator. And I hope this will be useful for you. I hope you like this video and if you really want to be first to be notified of future videos that are coming out for EduTech cool videos at your tutorial, please click subscribe at the bottom or click subscribe here at this round button. Right? And I'll look forward to seeing you again. Take care.